Hello guys, how are you doing? And welcome to a new episode of Amir Can Cook. On today's episode, I'm going all the way back to my roots. Why am I saying this? Stick and stay and you find out all about that. But before that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like, comment and share all our content. So welcome back. Uh, so today I decided to do something that is very Kwo. Uh, that's my tribe. I'm from the Kwo tribe. Uh, we are found in the eastern region. We have our own way of preparing soups and today uh, I'm going to teach you how to do a Kwo styled um, light soup with snails, with akrantia and some dry fish. Uh, it's something I haven't done before, as usual, but I've eaten it quite a, a, a few times and I've shared videos of me eating this food on my social media and of course people have been asking questions. So today I'm going to cook it for you uh, by kind courtesy of my friends from uh, Crop of Snails. Uh, they've given me some amazing snails. Uh, you find out about them very soon. So uh, let's get cooking. All right, so welcome back and yes, we are about to start cooking. And just like I told you, uh, today it's been inspired by uh, the guys from Crobo Snails. So as you can see, they have these well-packed uh, fresh snails, uh, fresh and frozen snails. And then these are the dried oven, uh, sort of oven-baked snails. Uh, these are some of the ingredients that we're going to need. And the cool thing about them is, you know, most of Ghanaians, they like that bluish liquid that comes from uh, the snails, they've preserved it for you as well. And so you can still cook it and then have that uh, flavor. And uh, more of the ingredients. Today, because you know, cooking traditional local food takes a lot of time. So uh, I've done some prepping already and we've gone through some of the ingredients being blended already. So this is blended onions. Um, and this is the rest of our ingredients. We have some a crantier, which is grass cutter, and uh, we have some dried fish. Uh, I think we call this in the local parlance um, in pata. No, it's not in pata, forgotten, but it's dry fish. Uh, so we've got some dry fish there in, in, to complement the snails, both the dry and, uh, and um, fresh snails very well. Um, and I've, we've got some uh, salt and tomato paste to, 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 to go with it. So like I said, I've done a lot of prepping already uh, and we have here blended uh, pepper, tomatoes and garden eggs. So you boil them together uh, and when it's quite cooked, you just uh, put it in the blender and, and blend away. Uh, let me just tell you also that uh, it's, it's a trick. Um, maybe it is as the quail people who do that. I don't know if everybody else does it, uh, but we like the snails very sort of firm when we are chewing it. So it's crunchy. And to do that, what you have to do is you add a little bit of salt to it when you are cooking it. Uh, so I've done that here. Uh, let's go, man. All right, so you've seen the ingredients. Now it's time to get cooking. Uh, as you can see, I've got with me a pot of water uh, that's going to be used for the snails. And I'm going to put it right here uh, so it boils. And on this other pot, uh, or in this other pot, we have the Akrantia grass cutter. And now I remember the fish. It's called Adrini. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to call it mad fish. But in more recent times, I've come to realize that it's actually catfish. Uh, so it's smoked, dry uh, catfish. So that is going to go there as well. So, yes. Like I said, cooking African food, Ghanaian food, can take a lot of time. And so uh, all the prepping that I did is going to cut it down at least uh, to some good timing for your viewing pleasure. All right, so I'm going to pour in to that one the onion. Uh, it's just blended onion with water. Uh, so 
is going to go in. So. Cover it a little bit real quick. So it's a mess. And over here, of course, you can see the water boiling as well. So what we're going to do is to put in our, our snails. I told you about that green stuff. It's also going to go in as well. And already I'm smelling the snail, uh, snaily, snaily stuff at the moment. So, yes, so we have the snails. This are the, as you can see, I've already eaten a chunk of the dried ones already. But this is, I have a handful of it. I'm going to add it to our steaming as well good things are boiling uh we're going to put it on fire for a while longer and then come back to check how uh, things are going stick and stay all right so at this stage i'm going to put in the tomato paste and salt so that everything gets very tasty at the very early stage all right let's go As you can see, because of all the slimy goodness, you feel all that then develop into some foam. Yes, so there you go. Okay, okay. So you're going to lower the heat a little bit. All right. So to prevent it from boiling over all, all the time, I'm going to open, pick up the lid, so uh, it simmers naturally. And the smell. Hmm. It's a special this thing. All right, so everything has been boiling, everything has been simmering to the right perfection, and the snail is done. So what I'm going to do now is to sieve it, clean it up a little bit, and then actually start the uh, stewing, no, souping. <laughs> Stick and stay, I'll be right back. So I'm going to sieve it in a soigne. We call it soigne. So there you have it. I'm going to clean this thing up. So all these goodies are good to go into the soup, but uh, so anyway, I'm just going to take these things out. The reason why I see that is because I want all these things back in there, you know. They are good flavors for the soup. Good. So we have this. So we're going to cool it off a little. This is just to cool it down and remove some of the things. All right, so. As you can see, I'm going to remove these things from there.
as you can see I have cleaned it I'm going to clean it a little bit more before I put it back in the soup but uh, there you have it I've taken out a lot of the pack but it's not nice to eat so there you have it all right so we know we don't put anything to waste when we're cooking this local stuff so the juice from the cooking I'm going to pour into our 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 base like that and I'm going to now put in the snails into that as well so there you have it so in there now all right so i put in the snails as you can see and i'm sweating uh, i'm going to cover it a little bit for it to get the flavoring in and the next thing we do is we're going to put in tomato garden eggs uh, pepper uh, because it's already cooked you don't put in there for a very long time but of course it's very thick so we add some water to it that's how we get to get our soup so there we go So I have to add some water to rinse it like we do in Africa. We give it a thorough shake just to get a bit of everything else in there. Let's get some more. All right, so I'm going to cover it and uh, let it simmer a little bit. Uh, and then when it's up to the boil, I just uncover it for it to get more flavor. So stick and stay. Uh, the interesting thing about um, the soup is that you can eat it with a number of swallows, like they call it in Nigeria. I don't know if you can eat this with Gary Eba, uh, but conveniently, I will eat it with Fufu. Uh, or even rice uh, you can boil rice and then eat it with it so stick and stay we'll be right back all right so it's been simmering for some time now so we're going to open the lid uh, now to see well it's more than simmer it's been boiling all right so So uh, now I'm just going to open it like that so I won't cover it again. All right, so the soup is ready and it's smelling delicious as well. And make sure you stick around and see how it looks like. But don't forget to hit the subscriber button, comment, share our content and keep it locked.